Hey there everyone, it's Matt from Creative Reviews. Today, we're here with an iPhone 5 case. A pretty simple one, this is a bumper case made of both plastic and kind of rubbery silicone. Have you been looking around for a good case for your iPhone 5 to protect it, but you don't want to bulk it up too much? Well, we have a great one here for you. Right here, this is what it comes in. It's nothing special, but it's a great case, at least I think so, and it's really affordable too. Before we go into what exactly it is, let's check out the pricing. You can probably get this for around $150 to $2 on Amazon.com. Does that entice you at all? It did for me. And with free shipping, it's great. All you have to do is just go on Amazon.com and search for iPhone 5 bumper case and it'll take you right to this and this one is a nice black one but I know it does come in other colors like black with a clear plastic white with other colors and you can probably get whatever you'd like now don't be deceived these ones can be also found on Groupon for maybe three for fifteen dollars and other ones and you have to pay for shipping as well now this one it's basic it's basic it will not protect your phone from drops it will protect it from scratches on the front and the back on my phone I prefer not to have any screen protectors on the front and the back and the thing is I do have insurance on this so if you do not have insurance I would most likely suggest you get a case like an OtterBox or a life proof case to make sure that your phone will never get dropped and unfortunately die or break because of my insurance, I chose a sleek case. Moreover, I do like the minimalist approach that Apple came with. Having a minimal, like monolith looking phone. And I wanted to keep it as close as I could. So I have the black, so I got the black bumper case. And it's actually on the phone right now. It's clean. If you can see, there's a rub, there's a plastic shell surrounding the entirety of the phone to give it some stability. So it's not just a piece of rubber or a piece of silicone. The only way that you can get it on or off is by stretching this piece right here where the plastic does not go around. As you can see, there's openings for your speakers and your microphone, your um, lightning port, and your headphone jack. So what you do is you kind of stretch this on and off, and it fits on this phone perfectly. Nothing on here is really loose except for these side buttons that you see on here. And what these do is they sit on top of where your buttons would be on your phone and they allow good clicking. And there's your top one too. And you have space for your, uh, I guess you could have this be your orientation lock or your mute switch. But it's a great case. Like I said, I do have insurance so I really like to keep this plain and simple. If I could, I'd keep it without a case, but I found out that it gets a little bit slippery in my hands. I want something that I can just grip, and having the silicone and rubber on the outside provides great grip. So it's not really gonna get lost in my hand at all. But it feels great, it doesn't add too much bulk at all, and it's so cheap that I think this is a great buy. Moreover, there's free shipping. I won't tell you where to get it from because the company's kind of changed. It's probably coming from China. It does take a while for this to ship to you, about two to three weeks after you ship. So I would suggest buying a few of these cases, which I bought two to begin with, but after this, I've gone back and purchased maybe a more of a bulk order for later on, for later on use. Because, unfortunately, there is one downside. Because there is no plastic on this bottom part, when you put this on and when you take this on and off your phone, there has become, <clears throat> let me see if this can focus. There has become a, there's a tear basically. And I feel like this tear is eventually gonna, you know, break this piece right here and we will not have a uh, functional case anymore. But that's because I like to slide my case on and off all the time because like I said, I prefer it with no case whatsoever. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to take this thing off. And let's see if this actually breaks on us today or if it stays. Now I have had this for about a month and saying 
that I've had for a month. No, that was easy. I would be okay if it if this broke in about a month. It's a dollar fifty. I'd say that these are a case, these are a few cases that you would get a bunch of these for, and use them when you don't want like full body protection and just protection from scratches. When you want to keep this phone as thin as possible. Let's say you're going on a trip. I suggest you get a bigger, bulkier case that protects everything. But when you're just going out doing casual things, it's great to have a small case. And I think for this price, it has lasted and has done a great job. If we can see here, it's a little bit bendy on the sides, but it's plastic, so it stays in shape. But here's the rubber part, which allows it to come on and off. <clears throat> so you can see, here's the iPhone, nice and clean, the way I like it. But what the minimalist design calls for is accents. So that's why you have your cases, that's why you have everything to put on the iPhone and accessories. That's basically why they do it. But here we go, let's put it on and let's see if this works out. It's really easy. I'm not going to open up this one because it's pretty much the same thing, but it comes in a small case, you open it up, you take this out, you find the volume rocker buttons here, you push it up to the top, kind of let it sit in its groove here, and then you pull the bottom part over and then over here. And what you do is you kind of line up the rubber silicone on the sides, press on the sides as well, and then push from the bottom, and there you have it. You have everything lined up. Your iPhone will no longer slide around. You're not scratching the back. You're not scratching the front. So I think this is a great device. Again, you can find this on Amazon for about $1.50 to $2 with free shipping. Don't pay too much for this, and also you can get whatever colors you want, but I think they're great. And again, the one downside is that this possibly may tear here at the bottom. But I'd suggest this case. I love it. I have my other cases for travel and just give it more protection. But remember, I do have insurance. So do whatever you think is best for you. I don't want you to break your iPhone. I love mine. I imagine you do too. So this has been Matt for Creative Reviews. And we've been taking a look at an iPhone 5 bumper case. This was purchased on Amazon, and this particular one was $1.57 per case. It comes in black and many other colors. So find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our brand new blogger site where we'll be giving you more in-depth analysis of whatever we do here and whatever thought I have in my head. And also check out our Vine, Twitter's new six second video page, we'll be, put, be putting little updates. So you can take a look at that too. Also, like us, unlike us, subscribe of course, and let me know what you think. This has been Matt for Creative Reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.